Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that picture was empty. Revelio. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured Hello, Gareth. all her test answers. So, into has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Cheating. Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. If you're setting things on fire, then perhaps you ought to rethink your choices. That's exactly what Aunt Matilda said. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed.
Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Lumos. Alohomora. Revelio. 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 Lumos. I thought about transferring to both buttons just to get away from Professor Blackman.
Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. What are you looking for exactly? Oh, you like that? A fine choice. Thank you for passing through. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? I know what that means. Merlin trial. Rebellion! Rockers can bring them. Revelio. Merlin trials won't get the best of me. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it, but I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do.
I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Expel the armors! At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio! We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Revelio! Accio! This room is taller than it looks. Revelio. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Confringo! Accio! Revelio! Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Revelio. Bombarda. Grass. Revelio no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about these tombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into Revelio. problems. Often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine though. Revelio! This is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Accio! Repairer! 
Incendio. Accio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. There's something here by the altar. Confringo. Revelio. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Rebellion. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Depulsor! If this archway's been barricaded, we should find a way through. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Luke, I need to find a safe way across. The student mentioned bones as the key. Therefore, bone piles must be what we need. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Akio! Revelio! Bombarder. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. That's a lot of bone metal. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. 
I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea. Except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. Where did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Rebellion. Devolter. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Bombarda. Confringo. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with green force. <laughs> Descender. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Revelio. Bombarder. Confringo. Departure. This catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Revelio! Confringo! Accio! Revelio! Perhaps we need to pull the handles in the order of the symbols on the tablets. Expelliarmus! Incendium! Revelio!
Revelio. Incendio. That works. Keep going. We got it, Leviosa. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Dead end. Lucky. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Revelio. Sebastian, the relic, look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic, it matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. 
After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. <laughs> is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing, it was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian! We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous. I'll explain on the way. Come on. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Revelio I wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I didn't want to worry him all over again. Lumos. Rebellion. Akio. Lumos.
here. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Kitty Bone Bridge complete. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important. For Anne. Rather than 
and not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. We'll reclaim what is right. Spell the arms. Incendio. All of Ranlock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Belkov's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian acted rashly, but he acted out of instinct to save Anne. Out of instinct? 
with an unforgivable curse, this family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. <laughs> 